episode of the City Manager's Job Shadow. I'm Zach Walker, City Manager, here today with Willie Feltrop, who works in our Parks, Recreation, and Tourism Department. Willie, welcome. Thanks. Uh, how long have you worked for the city, Willie? I've been with the city eight years now. Eight years, and what's your job title here? My job title is Maintenance Supervisor. Maintenance Supervisor. Okay, so tell folks a little bit about what a typical day looks like for you. Figure out where the problems are, handle those by uh, necessary, how they're, how bad it is. I mean, graffiti, breakdowns, we deal with all of parks buildings, all fleet mowers and equipment and all play structures, including Adventure Oasis, a TMB, all facilities. So you've got anything that's a park or recreation asset, uh, you've got a Take care of those facilities and tourism and tourism and then all the equipment associated with that so the lawn mowers that people see out there yep so you're carrying a lot of uh territory here across the city yep <laughs> there's a lot there yeah and i would imagine here in june this is a very busy time yes for i think there's over 20 buildings i think there's over 50 pieces of mobile equipment uh 19 park restrooms with uh 22 play features. Wow. Well, let's go see some of this stuff. Yeah. Okay, Willie, my favorite city manager job shadows are the ones where I get to play with big toys. Uh huh. So tell me what this big honking thing is. This is our new loader we just purchased this year. It's a cat center oscillating clamshell loader. Uh, we use it in the field to remove large homeless camps, large piles of truck brush or debris and loading our trash dumpsters or doing large dirt projects. Okay, and any guess on how much a piece of equipment like this costs? Yep, 164000 Wow. <laughs> okay, well, can I play with it? Yeah, awesome. let's get started. All right, Willie, you let me play with the big toy. We got to scoop up some of the trash. Mm -hmm. That was positively disgusting and awesome at the same time. Yep. Okay, where's all this trash coming from? That is coming out of just the trash cans from the parks. Okay. Uh, we do go through more dumpsters as we clean out more of the camps that are set up in the parks, but typically it's over 70 bags a day for trash on two times a week. So twice a week, we're emptying the trash in the parks, bringing it here to the park maintenance yard, doing what we just did here, filling up dumpsters. Yep. Okay. And is that one person's job, several people? It's stuff? a full crew. Full crew. That's uh, Perry Riley's crew and Jeff Stinnett's crew is trash in the parks and ball fields. Awesome. Well, I'm glad I didn't tear up your $160,000 toy. Yep. Let's go get into some more trouble. Okay. So, Willie, we're driving around McCoy Park, which is one of the gems of our city's park system. But... I see emails and traffic about lots of vandalism going on in the park. Uh, tell me some of the things your crews have to do uh, to address uh, issues in McCoy Park. On our crew, we come out to maintain and oversee the operations of the spray ground and clean up uh, from some of the vandalism, painting, broken glass, uh, picnic tables being removed parks, they damage slides, cut swings apart, um, just generalized vandalization and doing all maintenance and repair on the play features. So let's talk a little bit about that. Not only is that taking away an asset for uh, the community to be able to utilize and enjoy the parks, but that's also pulling your crews off of other routine maintenance things they could be doing. Correct. as well as the cost and expense of repairing or replacing these assets that have been damaged or destroyed. Yeah. We're here at the Truman Memorial Building. Uh, this is also a gem of our parks, recreation, and tourism system. Uh, but there's something special moving in here uh, at the end of the week. Tell folks what's coming. Um, at the end of this week, National Trails Museum is temporarily closing and we're relocating them to the ground floor of the TMB building. So folks that want to visit the Trails Museum uh, on this temporary basis, they'll come here, they'll be able to see the exhibits, the artifacts, the gift shop, everything they would have experienced at the old site 
just relocated here to the TMB. Yep. Temporarily reloaded, located. And this is something else your crews are involved with, moving things around, relocating. Repairing all the sheetrock and wall damage, repainting the building to make it cleaner and get rid of the old stains and put new features in. So decisions that get made at city council meetings or in the city manager's office, it's your crews that are the wheels on the ground that make these things happen. On the Parks and Rec's tourism side, yes. Awesome. All right, Willie, parks, recreation, and tourism, all in one department, which means you guys get to take care of all of those things, including the historic sites in the city. Am I right? Yes. Okay, so we are here at one of the jewels of not just independence, but probably in American history, the Bingham Wagner estate. Um, tell us a little bit about what you guys uh, do from a maintenance standpoint at these historic sites. On these historic sites, we do as minimal as we can. We try to paint match as close as we can, remove as least amount of wood when there's water damage or varmint damage from squirrels. Uh, we replace glass when we've had issues out here. We run maintenance and syst the service systems for maintenance, uh, cameras, alarms, groundskeeping, tree removal, fencing, and as everybody knows, uh, taking care of an old house is a lot of work, very expensive. I'm guessing this home is no different. This home is very expensive. Uh, right now we're trying to do contracts for HVAC system in the existing house. They've got standalone units, uh, but that is one of our upcoming features to this house. Okay, and I want to ask you, I'm sure about the city's new fiscal year starts this Saturday, July 1st. Um, Part of that is a capital maintenance program that gets funded every year. Uh, and I believe you told me that one of the projects in this year's capital maintenance budget is right here at the Bingham Wagner. Yes, we're looking at getting the stable house re-roofed and sealed to preserve the interior of the building. It's one that's on the list to be fit out. So that's another example of um, the community sales tax dollars at work yeah. uh, being reinvested into the historic sites like this. Yep. Okay, very cool. All right, Willie, something else that falls into your uh, oversight are all the trails in the city, the bike trails, the pedestrian trails, you guys maintain all of those, is that right? For the surfacings, yeah. For the surfacings. And big news last week, uh, the Rock Creek Trail that we're standing on right now, uh, the bridge had to be removed. Tell yeah. us a little bit about why that had to happen. Um, over the years as the bridge was in, the footing washed out and allowed the bridge to settle and was starting to fall into the creek, which was a big investment on the bridge, so it needed to be removed to save the investment of the bridge. Uh, another large asset in the park system, but again one that requires a lot of care. Uh, tell folks some of the things uh, that you're responsible for here at Santa Fe? Um, out here, it's still maintenancing side. We do the tennis court nets. Whenever they're either vandalized, worn, we replace them, keep up the bleacher maintenance, restroom maintenance for toilets. We also have a conservation trail that connects to this that runs up behind, uh, is that livers over there? We've just recently put bollards in to stop people from dumping trash on the trail. Uh, we have a dog park at this facility as well, and drinking fountains with two play features. The bollards, uh, is that something that you all ordered uh, and installed? Where'd those come from? Um, we found the blueprints online and just built them in shop. So I think that's really impressive that your crews are able to fashion and create some of these things from scratch. We were able to save almost 50% of what they were retail versus building them in-house. Yeah, another innovative way to save sales tax dollars and spread those resources around a little. <laughs> okay. okay, Willie, we're here at Woodlawn Cemetery. Um, this is also something that our Parks Department maintains and was featured in a previous city manager's job shadow. But we're here today to talk about an exciting project uh, right out the front window here, we see the road through the cemetery. Tell us why that's exciting. 
This is a project that we've worked with municipal services on. Mike Hicks and Perry Riley have been keeping in contact and getting the asphalt roads updated and recovered uh, due to just excessive wear and high traffic being in and out of the cemetery. So one of the things I want to uh, point out here, uh, this was a project that's been on uh, the city's radar for several years and one of the things the city council has uh, made a priority in previous budgets of, or I should say wishing to make a priority but it was always pretty cost prohibitive to figure out how we were going to uh, pay for the equipment, the materials, and the labor. Uh, we found out a cost effective way to get that done through two departments collaborating together. Um, why don't you tell folks how we're getting this done? Um, as far as I understand, we are provide we are paying for material, and municipal service is paying for and covering the labor of their employees to come out and do this. So instead of having to pay a, a contractor and their overhead for their employees, materials and equipment, um, we're able to do this work in-house through the um, uh, employees and equipment that's in a different department and you guys are able to pay for the cost of the, the materials here. Thereby again, saving the city money, spreading out our, our resources to maximize the investment. Yeah, and if we look over here to the right, this is where the municipal service crew is repatching one of the side roads as well. Well, I know that it's something our uh, council certainly appreciates and that several citizens who have come uh, to speak at uh, budget hearings in the past will appreciate. And then of course, people that come here to memorialize their loved ones will also have a more pleasant experience. Awesome. Right. Well, thanks for all you do. Appreciate it. It's cool.